Good morning, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio. Our passage today is found in Matthew chapter 24, starting in verse 23. It says, Then if anyone says to you, Look, here is the Christ, or there, do not believe it. For false Christs and false prophets will arise and show great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. See, I have told you beforehand. It's a warning from Jesus Christ saying in the end times, people will come up and claim that they have seen Christ. And, and in order to validate their claim, they're going to be able to do false signs and wonders. And, you know, we're, we're living in a, uh, in a, you know, biblically illiterate uh, society. Uh, not only outside of the church, but inside the church. Never before have we had so many resources, uh, great resources uh, at our disposal. You know, I have these books behind me and library of books. I have hundreds of books and boxes that are not even out. Um, you know, it's a time when pastors needed a great library, and I invested a lot of money. And uh, people have given me books over the years, and and, uh, and and you keep books when you're a pastor because you're always pulling. You want uh, maybe uh, some clarity on a reference or whatever else. But today, most of that stuff is found right on the internet, and it's accessible to everyone uh, if they just seek it. If they just do a little bit of research out there, it's there for the taking. And yet, so many yet. Yet so many people neglect that and, uh, you know, and, and, you know, they don't spend time in the word and they're not looking for a church that preaches the word. And so when someone comes along and says that they have a new doctrine or they've seen the Christ, you know, people claim they've been to heaven and been back and they've got some fantastic story and Jesus showed them around heaven. You know, Jesus became a tour guide. He left his throne to show them around heaven. I don't think so. and uh, But because we're so biblically illiterate, so spiritually immature, that we would, like a child who will be enamored by something that's shining and bright and, and, and looks promising, so, so many people will be deceived because these false Christs, these false prophets will come on the scene with signs and wonders and deceive them, and deceive them. And if you get on YouTube, you can see some of these false uh, prophets and teachers out there, and they're uh, slaying people in the spirit, and they're uh, they're uh, healing the blind, and they're making the lame walk. And you know what? These are lies. They're lies. Let me ask you this: If I had the gift of a healing, and I believe it's no longer a valid a gift, but if I had the gift of healing, and I, would I use it to raise money or would I use it to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ? I think if I had the gift of healing, I would go to St. Jude's, I'd go to the Cleveland Clinic, and I'd begin to heal people. And when people ask me the reason for the healing, I could point them to the death and the burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ. But we don't see that today. What we do see are preachers with five ten thousand dollar suits with uh, uh driving in these great big uh uh expensive cars and their private jets and they're living in their mansions and supposedly they have the gift of signs and wonders uh and apparently not to point them to christ but to point them to themselves and uh, make a name for themselves rather than for jesus christ you and I must be aware, Jesus warned us that in these last times, in these last days, people would arise and be able to do fantastic um, miracles in our place. But you know what? All of that uh, must be validated by the word of God. Remember, he, they, he said that you shall know them by their fruits. What does that mean? It means that you and I are fruit inspectors. Someone says that this is an apple tree. We go to the tree to see if apples are really coming off that tree. Is it doing what it's supposed to do? 
And you know what? If people, if someone says that they're a preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ, you know what? Their fruit is found in what they say about God's word, how they preach God's word. What is the gospel to them? Are they pointing people to themselves? Are they pointing people to the cross? Are they getting wealthy off of this? Are they um, are they selling more books? Are they doing this and that in order to make a name to build a kingdom for themselves? Or are they pointing people to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ? He says at the end there, see, I have told you beforehand. We have no excuse. He's already warned us. Don't be naive. Don't be easily deceived. Everything that's uh, that people say they do in the power of the Holy Spirit is not of the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you this. It, how, you say, Pastor, how do you know? What is this book saying? What does this book say? It begins and it ends with this. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying, God loves you and I love you as well. And I'll talk to you soon.